hello guys welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel so in this video we will talk about how we can use our network logs how we can analyze network logs using the dev tools so uh, let's start with a story when i joined as a intern in the one of the uh, mnc uh, i was testing a website and uh, there were few errors i was getting on the ui so i asked developer i am getting these errors what to do so he told me give me the network logs so I was not sure from where we can get the network logs. In studied, we have learned about some network uh, tools like Wireshark and all, where we get the traffic, uh, network traffic and all. So I thought like we, I need to install those to one of the tool and uh, I need to get the traffic and I need to analyze like what's happening there. So I just got curious like uh, how to do that. So I just asked the uh, developer again like, uh, which tool you are using so he told like you can do it from browser itself so that time i think firefox firebug tool was there where uh, we were uh, uh, tracking this network log and all so i used that and uh, from there like uh, i get the habit of op keep, uh, keep opening developer tools and uh, tracks in the network logs when i am doing web testing so before start, please subscribe this channel and uh, share it to your care friends. Watch th this video till the end so that you get good amount of idea how to track the network logs, what all information you need to see. If you are very new to developer tools, I have already created one video where I have uh, give brief about all the tabs of uh, developer tools you are getting, how to access developer tools and uh, what all things you can do in overview I have given. So I have added a video in the description also you will get in, in Python. So you can go through that as well. So you can open network tools by clicking on F12 or uh, uh, from browser settings. And uh, you, even if you don't know, you can just click any of the button and do inspect and it will open network uh, this uh, uh, development consoles and uh, here in network you can see that so here like uh, you can see so many fpis it is calling so when i click of any url or refresh uh, uh, this thing we get this uh, apis so if you click on any of the apis you can get this header so header request url so you can see like what request url it is using what is status code and uh, some other policies you can see header request header it is using and all in payload section you can get the payload what are the payload it is using so you can see that in params you can see theater client uh, they are using some language lot uh, in means india they are getting my location and all also they get uh, like i am using web i am using apple device global india language english i have set so this uh, this thing uh, they are collecting and uh, based on that it is giving me the uh, in uh, output and it is rendering the page so other apis you can track here and uh, in payload section you can see what all the payloads it is using so in preview it gives the preview if any html or something is there and in response you get the response of like a particular response you are getting like this so it is in json format you can copy paste and uh, 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 paste somewhere where you can get uh, a proper JSON format and uh, here like uh, timing is there so in timing it gives me how many seconds it is taking to get this API and uh, total here also you can get the total amount of time to get the paid load so th this is how many MB transport this is how many KB tra uh, transport and all and uh, how many time it took so when i reload any of the page so it it gives me how many time it took to load the page so once uh, loading is over it to finishes in 5.81 seconds and it has used my 15 mb of data so those all amount you are getting also like which api took how much time so you can see so if some api is taking so much time so while testing you can uh, keep an eye on that and uh, uh, report to developer or create a bug like uh, this should not take this much time so uh, this is what you are getting from network tab also there are some settings that you can use so for example uh, here I can see like uh, we have threatening option so if you do slow 3g so it will load uh, slowly so it will uh, keep data like that uh, so if you want to test your uh, 
page in slow network you can use slow 3g so now it should take more than five seconds right so it is taking 12 seconds now with slow 3g also you can disable the case so if uh, you are seeing like uh, some case is there so uh, it will test like a disabling case like it won't store any of the case and uh, uh, you can disable it you can also clear all the requests you are seeing like so many records are uh, hitting so you can clear also if you want to stop recording you can press this button and it won't give you more requests so if you found something and now you don't want to load more then you can stop this also you can filter like uh, when you are seeing many of the requests and if you want to specific filter you can say like browser or something uh, it has right so so let's say network only so it has network.js secrets so you can filter out and uh, keep eye on those requests only also you can for have some uh, direct filters like if you want to see javascript only css one only image one only font one so you can uh, switch from here so mostly i keep all only and i have filter for specific requests so when you are testing your own website so that time you know right these are the requests i need to take care of so i filter that and keep eye on those requests so if it is failing so why it is failing also you can if you want to do like failing whenever uh, uh, you are offline or something so you can do offline in between so that you come to know like when uh, some data connectivity issue or something is happen what happened to your website so those things you can take care from here also you can download this log so whenever uh, you load this page and you found like there are few errors like let's go to the my blog where i can see some red request so because some of the plugins uh, i think it is not supported so i am getting some red request so yeah so this i am seeing red with 400 errors so what you can do is you uh, you can uh, save all as hr with content so it will save save your uh, uh, all the hr files with all the context so you can send it to developers and then ca then they can analyze why it is failing or here if you have some ideas you can see like it is getting 400 bad requests that means this url is not present or something happened with that you that url so you can uh, share it to the or whenever you open the bug make sure like you attach the developer uh, this network log so it will be very easy for dev uh, uh, developer to uh, analyze the issue so particularly when you are testing the website make sure you add the network logs of that website so that is most thing you should do also other logs if you are tracing in some of the uh, tools then you can add that one also but this is also very useful particularly when some page is not loading component is not loading or you are getting some uh, wrong data then it there must be some issue with payload or backend that you can trace from here so that will be very useful so yeah this is all you can do so you can get uh, these network logs for any website like if you do bookings.com or something and you can see like what all data they are using or what all uh, network uh, clicks you are doing so if you go any of the these so you can see like they are uh, in payloads what all things they are using So this thing you can do for any website you can check uh, most of the website uh, uh, so all the contents they are using in payloads and all so that one also that way also it is useful but uh, for your testing purpose you must know like uh, what all apis i need to track and uh, what all apis we are using how much time it should take uh, api should take right to load the data and all so uh, based on that you, you can find more bugs also from this and uh, there are sometimes what happens in slow network or uh, if you want to test and you don't have any slow network then you can use this threatening and uh, with that also sometimes we see like with slow slow network some of the components never loads so those kind of uh, bugs you can get from network logs so that's it uh, from this video if you have any doubts feel free to comment and uh, if you like this video please like and share it to other qa friends and uh, uh, 
uh, I have added my social media links in the description. Go there and please subscribe and uh, follow me. So thank you guys. Thank you so much.